my name is Rodorits Deerhouse. Rodorits means hunter in Mohawk. That's what people call me, hunter. I'm a Mohawk, not a Mohican, okay? We survived. Like my father and my father's father, I can use a bow and arrow like nobody's business. I can also paddle a canoe faster than most speedboats and more quietly than your mother's orgasm. And like the legends say, I can walk the high steel without a worry. Hell, I can do gymnastics up there. All these traditional skills would have made me one serious breadwinner once, a couple of hundred years ago when us Indians still made up the majority of Turtle Island. But today, in an over-mediated, hyper-consumerist North America, without enough room for everybody, I have to be content with being a ruthless, efficient, cold-blooded killer. That pisses me off. Okay, cold-blooded killer is not exactly the politically correct term for what I do. Bounty hunter sounds better. Hired gun also works, though it lacks sophistication. I did spend some time in the Marine Corps, also like most of my relatives. But you know, fighting other people's wars is starting to get boring. I'm thinking maybe I need a new aim in life. Screen. On. Traveling through time these days is easy, thanks to Time Traveler TM. Witness important historical events or interact with the people who made them happen. You can even customize your own events and visit with your great 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 grandmother. All customized characters must have existed. It's easy and fun. Visit www.timetravelertm.com. <laughs> Time Traveler TM on. Yeah, they use these in schools for history class. It takes all the known facts about a particular event in history, a speech, a battle, a day in the life of, and recreates it for you in living color. It's basically like going into a full-on 3D chat room and hanging out with famous dead people, like Geronimo. I'm interested in a little hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's one of my specialties. So, let's try Indian and Massacre. More than 86,000 hits, but most of them talk about Indians being massacred. I want to know about Indians who are doing some massacring. Let me try the trusty random function. I figure odds are good that I'll get to see some good, old-fashioned killing, at least. I figure a little visiting with my ancestors, a little recon with my role models, could do me some good right now. Give me a new perspective. Go ahead. Call a division quest. I'm in fly-on-the-wall mode, because I don't plan on taking part in the action. But there must have been some mistake, because I'm not at any massacre. I'm in some stupid barn or something with a bunch of white guys who've got to be cops. It looks like there's going to be a show. Where are the Indians? Where are the massacres? Good evening, men. Tonight, on account of it being Christmas time and all, we have a special treat. Mr. Nestor Vance's Great Panorama of the West. They call this thing a moving picture, only it's not even automated. It's a bunch of bad paintings sewn together and rolled onto a frame, with a couple of kerosene lamps behind it to make it glow or something. Some poor kid is turning an actual crank to move it forward, while this other idiot is supposedly narrating. It's so 2D it hurts my eyes. Gotta love that random function. I seriously consider unplugging from this scene, only I actually get sucked in by the story. This one Sioux hunter dares his friend to kill this white farmer, so the friend kills the farmer's whole family. Then all the Sioux go on a rampage and kill hundreds of settlers. They cut off people's heads, rape women, torture children, and loot a few towns. It really gets the audience riled up. This ridiculous, unsophisticated agitprop has done the trick. And if I was one of these guys, I'd be ready to kill the savages too. But I'm not buying it. If there's one thing every Indian knows, it's this. When it comes to history, always get a second opinion. At least I got one thing out of coming here. I know where I'm going next. <laughs> <laughs>